Star Trek Ransomware, and you thought cybercriminals didn't have a sense of humor, haha. <laughs> Well, last week, we witnessed the Kirk Encryptor, accompanied by the Spock Decryptor. If you haven't watched Star Trek, none of this makes any sense. But anyway, the point is, it's cool ransomware, so let's check it out. Because that's what we do, right? Not picked up by all the engines yet. Let's see if it gets past Windows Defender. See if we can sneak this through. Alright, EXE. I'll say yes to that, and we'll just run it as admin, because I don't want any additional hassle. Everything seems good. Hmm. Low orbital ion cannon. When harpoons, airstrikes, and nukes fail. This may take some time. Ta-da! Wait, you haven't seen nothing yet. We have a PWD file on the desktop, which I assume is password, but I think it'd be better if they called it PWNE day. Would make it a lot more sense. Ah, oh, Star Trek. Exe. Kurt. And I guess that's what has happened to the rest of our files too. The Federation for the win. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not what it shows. And there it is. It's quite intriguing, ASCII art. If the ransomware developer just offered this for sale as a portrait, I'm sure he would probably make more money, so I don't know why he's wasting his time, but there we go. Oh no, the Kirk ransomware has encrypted your files. Important, read carefully. And now it just tells you what ransomware does, and here's the list of some of the file extensions that were targeted. So it doesn't want you to bother. And there are an additional 441 file extensions. No shit. They're mostly to do with games. Ah, my game files are encrypted. Great. To be honest, that's not that much of a set off for most people. Because nowadays, Steam, Origin, Uplay, pretty much all of them save their stuff in the cloud. And here's the epic part. Spock to the rescue. Decrypting your files is easy. Take a deep breath and follow the steps below. So this is where another interesting aspect of this ransomware comes in, in that it does not accept payment in Bitcoin, but in Monero. And if you're wondering what that is, that is another form of cryptocurrency that claims to be better at privacy, which makes sense from the cyber criminal's perspective. Also, it is fairly new. I think it was introduced in 2014. So if ransomware keeps coming out like this, that's probably going to drive the price of Monero up, and that should also help the cyber criminals make even more money. Obviously, that's a very large-scale consequence, but worth mentioning. So once you've uh, sent them the money along with your password file, they're going to provide you a Spock decryptor, and then you can breathe. And finally, live long and prosper. Pretty ingenious, don't you think? Ransomware development is turning into an art. The one thing I'm waiting for is a Jurassic Park ransomware, where Dennis Nedry pops up his face and says, uh-uh-uh, your files are encrypted, or something along those lines. So, I hope you enjoyed this extremely quick video. Star Trek fans, hit that like button. If you're not a Star Trek fan, well, hit that like button anyway, because you're a TPSC fan. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? But anyway, this was fun, so I thought I'd share it. Subscribe, and as always, stay informed, stay secure. And don't forget those backups, or you might be Kirked.